All right, guys, we are at 55,080 miles on this 2.7 liter EcoBoost Ford Edge Sport. Love it. 2018. And, um, yeah, I don't care about monetization. Loving this song. Pick that up. Even at my worst. Okay. So I've removed the filter housing, 18 millimeter, and got this set up. Turn my light on. And I am draining the oil. So I'm just going to let that sit. Just going to let it sit overnight, you know? It ain't going anywhere tonight. So just let that drip. Get all six quarts out as much as possible. But I'm gonna put, get some gloves on here and open up our oil catch can from JLT. See how many milliliters we caught this time. Okay. Yeah, if you're doing this, so it's a relatively warm engine, maybe an hour ago, but this thing gets hot and it burns hot, guys. So, highly recommend gloves and uh, towels and stuff so you don't burn yourself. Um, I was uh, shoving towels down in to sop up the oil reservoir or oil filter reservoir, and uh, man, the sides of those casings were so hot. But. Yeah, highly recommend using gloves for this. So I got some Mobile One 5W30 for this oil change. I, I, I've been doing AMS oil and I don't know, it's like a hundred bucks now guys for, for eight quarts of oil. It's insane. And if I can get five quarts for 25, 26 bucks at Walmart for Mobile One, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with that, guys, honestly. I mean, I love the AMS oil, but an AMS oil guy for, I don't know, at least, I was going to say 15 years. But the, the price point is just killing us. And um, so, anyways, changing every 5,000 miles, I'm going to do... I'm gonna do this next 5,000 with the with the Mobile One 5W30 full synthetic. All right, so let's see how much we got here. Whoops, I spilled it. So, it's not out of the ordinary. If I say that's 20 on the left, and then I'm like maybe, what, 12 on the right? So 32? Yeah. Thirty, 32 milliliters, I'll say. And I'm going to back this up. I love that song so much. God's love is unconditional. What a blessing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay. So we got that cleaned out. Put this guy back on. So I'm going to leave the, while it's draining overnight, I'm going to leave the filter housing off. And I'll just put that on in the morning. And I'll fill it up. So that'll be, that'll be easy. So about 32 here. Got 
Guys, I can't recommend enough. 5,000 miles. Don't go much more than five. I mean, this one is like, I think 5,000 and maybe like 85 miles since my last oil change. I just don't want to go much more than 5,000 miles on these EcoBoost motors. Just don't want to do it. All right, so the other thing, this is a bonus, guys. We're going to change the air filter. Because it's been, I think, 25,000 miles. So let's do that. And the air filter is a little fun. I've got these clips. It's, you guys have seen this. i got a video on it. but Just two clips. And then you kind of lift and pull. Yeah, so you just pop those clips, lift and pull. Let's see what we got here. Okay. FA nineteen twelve A. that guys see if you didn't compare it to the new one you wouldn't think it was that bad holy smokes I wouldn't go more than 20 wow <laughs> now you see how it's night and day All right, let's peek in here. What do we got? Not too bad. I don't see much down in there, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna fret. Sometimes I'll vacuum it out if I see a bunch of junk in there, but I don't need to. Not this time. Okay, gotta get that thing seated in there, and then. I'll be honest, guys, I, I've, I've kind of messed this up before. When you're putting this back in, you've got to make sure these tabs on the back side here go in there, and then you can lock it down. I've, 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 um, I've sometimes found it difficult to get it, to get it seated properly. So you want to check that. If you're doing it, or if maybe you're taking it to the dealer or something and they're changing it for you, just make sure that that is... Um, that is done properly. So I don't know if this is going to help, but I'm going to try to see if I can. So again, I kind of got to push down here on this, on this right here, get it, get it in there, and then, and then come down. I think I got it. Yeah, so you can check. Make sure there's no gap here. And then you can see it's seated back here. And it's in there. And the front side, front side's easier. But it's this back corner that you gotta watch and make sure that that gets seated in there properly. Because you don't want air getting sucked in this way that is not getting filtered because that's where this is going right you see, if it's there's a gap here it's not getting filtered and it's going straight in your intake and it's gonna dirty it up much much faster so you gotta watch that it's a little tricky guys so all right that is it for for today 55,000 I think it's 55,080 miles on this 
wonderful, wonderful engine. Um, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching, listening, and hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy maintaining your 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost beast. Take care. God bless.